It is Michelle from MyCrazyWorkout.com and I am going to do another vlog for you today. Uh, let's call it a couch chat, okay? Shall we? Um, the videos I've been doing, the metabolic resistance videos, uh, I have generated a lot of buzz on the YouTube channel and a lot of questions have popped up and um, it's too hard for me to cover them while I'm doing a video working out so I thought that I would try and give you the information uh, in a vlog so that uh, you can watch it you can absorb it you can ask me any questions that you want to and um, I can answer everything I know I had original, I originally posted one about um, if you want to be trim and tone versus big and strong and how to lift. And I had told you that that was freestyle training, which was what I had done to achieve um, looking the way that I did. Uh, that's how I trained and I still train that way. And that is sort of what the metabolic resistance training is. Freestyle is still a creature of its own. Uh, they have just changed the name since then. And I don't think anybody has ever gotten it as well as uh, George Snyder and Laura Dayton have uh, with their concept of the freestyle training. And I took notes because I think it's the only way that I can cover everything that I need to cover with you. But George Snyder, you're saying, who is this guy? I don't know him, never heard of him, and um, some hardcore bodybuilders and that might have. But he was a gym owner at first in 1965. He was actually the first gym owner to open his doors to women because women weren't allowed to be in a man's gym uh, before that time. It was unheard of for you to walk in and lift side by side with a man. So he was the first one to do that. He was the one who created and conceived the Miss Olympia competition after watching these women train with these men. So the first women were like Rachel McLeish and they actually looked like women. They didn't look like if you covered up their head, they didn't look like a man's body with a female head on it. And that was the inception of steroids so that women could become as big as men. And that's the only way you're going to get that look is you have to take steroids. When I say to lift heavy, I don't mean you're never going to lift like 60 pound dumbbells and do bicep curls right alongside men unless you're taking steroids. Um, it's, it's pretty unheard of. We don't have that much testosterone in our body. Uh, but heavy means just to challenge your body. Um, you don't want to pick up those five pound dumbbells and be there doing them all day long. You want a weight that's going to challenge you. Uh, and then after uh, Miss Olympia got crazy uh, with the whole women looking more like men, he then broke away and started the Miss Galaxy competition, which was the one that I had competed in, which you had seen the pictures in the last video. And to this now, um, I, I think he's out of it. He was, he was older when I was doing it, and that was back in the 1990s. It is now called the Tri-Fitness Competition, so they still have it. And uh, the, the guy who runs it now is Al Rosen is his name. And it's crazy because it's right here out of Florida. It's over in St. Pete, so it's uh, right in my backyard, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, but, yeah, it... Uh, um, is still going on today and so women still are training that way and what uh, George Schneider and Laura Dayton had seen was they when they began to write and look at the freestyle training they ranked the what women what their goals were uh, so uh, a woman's goals the majority of women let's say because there are some women out there who um, are skinny, who can't gain weight, who need to lift heavy weights just to put muscle on, they're rare. The majority of us women all store our weight in our thighs, our hips, our butts, and our stomachs, okay? So when they talked to women and they looked at women, they said first and foremost, women want to lift weights to lose weight weight. Weight loss was their main goal. Then muscle tone. They wanted, that was ranked second. Third and last was strength and conditioning. Um, and, and I think you see strength and conditioning now more a days because female sports have become popular. Uh, more women are, uh, there's more sports 
uh, organized sports going on that women have to train for. But back um, back then, it was more dancers, gymnasts, and uh, figure skaters, and all three of those uh, groups of people train more like a freestyle. They're they're doing, you look at a gymnast, they're not training. People keep saying to me, why are your videos so long? Why are your videos so long? Uh, a, a gymnast and them work for hours on end. They go in and they train in the morning. Swimmers go in, they train, they swim, they do their sport, they swim it for hours. And they go back later in the day and they do it or they do muscle conditioning. But they want to have, um, they don't want, heavy bulky muscles they want them to be toned and that's the whole point to doing longer i'm not doing 30 minute videos they are an hour the workout should take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to do but that's your cardio and your lifting all in one you when you're done with that workout you should be tired now if you don't want to put your cardio in there that's the cool thing about freestyle you can skip the jumping move the when i set them up and if you've watched the videos uh there are four exercises and then the, the fifth one is actually a cardio based move to keep your heart rate up which is what helps keep burn the helps you helps your metabolism stay up and helps you to burn more fat uh, because you're lifting the weights and you're adding the cardio in uh, so that's the whole point to it so you want to um, try and train a little bit harder and a little bit longer instead of I know everybody's going with this hit stuff and and hit is awesome and getting it in as fast as you can that's great if you're already where you want to be and it's a maintenance thing and it's great on days that you're not going to lift like maybe maybe one of those days is an upper body day and and you want to throw in hit um, you can do that you know you you don't have to. That's why I think they coined it as freestyle. It is a non-traditional, non-conventional way of lifting. And, and it's unheard of. People are like, oh, you can't do that. But there are so many people that get results from it that I, you, you can't dis discredit it and discard it and say that it's not legit because you're seeing results with it. So it is a genetic fact that most, most women store fat in their hips, their thighs, and their butts, and their stomach, especially as they get older and your hormones shift. Uh, you, your body, we have a greater propensity uh, to, to store fat than men do. Uh, you can go in and lift alongside your husband, your boyfriend, or whatever. You'll see them drop weight. You might, they might drop 20 pounds in two, you know, in two months or whatever, and, and you might drop two pounds, and you're frustrated, and it's because they have, they, they, their bodies are meant to shed that weight. They're, they're meant, and we're meant to store it. We are, um, from the days of the famine, we were meant to store that fat in case there was a famine because we are the child bearers whether you are going to have kids or not it or you're over that it doesn't matter your body doesn't know that that is how that is our gene there are genes we are genetically coded that way and there's nothing you can do except outsmart it by lifting a different way um so they created this program to reduce the areas without any surgery so the cornerstone of freestyle is lunges, 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 and you've seen that in my videos. There are a lot of lunges, and there are all kinds of lunges so that they target all the different areas of the lower body, and I'll get into that in a, in a little while with, the, with the, how you break it up. Um, I'm going to show you, I'll put a chart up on the screen, but they provided a chart that will help you determine how many repetitions you should be doing. And the other chart that goes along with it is based on what your body type is, how you consider yourself. And I'm not talking like where you store, I'm talking, are you slim? Are you considered slim? Are you considered a little bit overweight, obese, and that determines how many repetitions you want to be lifting based on your goal. So
people. So if you're slim and you don't need to lose a lot of weight, then of course you're not going to go with 20 repetitions. You're going to go with 8 to 10 repetitions because you do want to add, you, if you have a hard time gaining, you're going to want to add um, some muscle and the only way to do that is by lifting lower repetitions and heavier weights. But the majority of women consider themselves in one part or the other to be overweight or pudgy or whatever you want to call it. It's where we, where we hold on to our weight. And the only way you're going to get rid of that is by targeting that area more frequently. So that's the thing. Conventional lifting is men's style lifting. And men do a ratio of five to one. They do five days of upper body and one day of legs. You look at guys and you see them and they have big massive chests and big backs and they have skinny, skinny legs. Now, albeit um, not the bodybuilders because they have to be balanced, but walk into any type of a gym anywhere and you see them they're always focusing on the mirror muscles they're the muscles from the waist up they're the ones you can see check out and, and it's funny because guys can have a stomach and they won't say oh i'm so fat in the stomach like we women will pick out our flaw we can look good everywhere else and i'm i am i am a culprit of that i will tell you that i train hard i've had three babies um, no excuse, but I've always held on to the weight in my stomach and loose skin, and it's always the spot. Uh, you know, people will say, oh, your legs look good, oh, this, 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 and I always say, ah, oh, but this. Guys are so great because they'll, they'll, they might have a stomach, but they'll flex their arm and they'll say, check out this bicep. We need to be more like that. I don't know why we're not. I guess we're not, we're not geared that way. So yes, guys do five days of upper body where they focus on the upper body and they do one day for legs. Women with the freestyle want to do two to three times a week with their upper body and six days with their lower body. I know you're saying six days. Oh, that's overwhelming. I'm giving you videos where you don't have to go to a gym and the videos have all of these lower body exercises in them. And if you don't have an hour, it's okay. If you want to do three or four rounds, that's the nice thing about freestyle. You can break it up and you can say, I am going to do the first two circuits and I'm going to do four rounds through with each circuit and that will give you a half an hour workout because if it's an hour you're going to get the 30 minutes in um, with the first two with the first two circuits uh, so you the freestyle doesn't mean you have to go through all of this stuff and there might be an exercise there that you can't do or you have um, problems and it's just not possible for you to do it then that's what's nice about freestyle you throw whatever in you want that works for you in that area um, that won't hurt you or injure you because that's the biggest thing uh, you don't want injury uh, with the freestyle training or the metabolic resistance training um, and that and that also is another thing that they do the chart uh, that they show you for lifting the weights in the amount of repetitions they always say 70 to 75 percent of whatever the maximum weight is, is that, that you lift so there's a chart there that says if you're doing 35 pounds, um, maybe you're doing bicep, no, let's not say bicep curls, let's say back. Maybe you're doing a back move and you're lifting 35 pounds with your back um, with that move. Then um, in freestyle, you would do 70 to 75% of it. So it would be like 25 to 30 pounds to be able to get those repetitions out. So by going lower weight and higher reps, you're still going to achieve that, but you're not building your, you're going to end up helping to lose because you're doing, and you're going to, combine it with other moves so that will also take the weight down significantly because you're doing either a giant set um, or and that's what we'll talk about in a little bit you can do supersets compound sets triceps triceps there are all different variations on it um, which is really cool about the, the freestyle for the metabolic resistance training so uh, six days of lower body 
you have there's six parts to the lower body you've got the hamstrings which are the backs of the legs the upper back um the upper back part of the leg quadriceps which are the front part of the leg uh you've got hips you've got uh inner and outer thighs and your butt and they're all the six parts and when you break up your freestyle training that's what you do uh the majority of the moves are compound moves so they're going to target if you're doing a reverse lunge they're going to target the hamstrings as well as the glutes, they both play a factor in it. If you are doing them properly, if you're not and you're leaning forward, you're gonna incorporate the quadriceps in. So that's why I take my time and try to explain it on the video because I'm not standing in front of you telling you, okay, you're not doing it right. I try and explain that and, and bring that across in the video so that you understand it. So it is important to break the lower body up properly so that if you are going to train six days a week you are not hitting the same muscle group um, on consecutive days you have to it has to be a split so it would be inner and outer thigh um, or inner thigh and quadricep and it would be maybe Monday Wednesday Friday and then you would have um, or Monday and Wednesday you would have uh, uh, hamstrings and glutes on Tuesdays and Thursdays and um, Saturdays would be uh, hips focus on the hips but how, you always want to break it up so that you're not targeting the same muscle group on the same day and I've taken that thought out for you by doing these pro by doing these videos these metabolic resistance videos I have taken all of the workout all you have to do is put them into the days that you want to do and I by and if you follow day one day two day three and day four will be coming um, it, if you follow them in order you will never hit the same body part on the same day I tried to gear it so that if you wanted to do it that way and you wanted to go Monday Tuesday off on Wednesday pick up day three as uh, Thursday you could do that but you you uh, you need rest days in there as well so um, you know they sat Sunday whatever your rest day is it can be through the middle of the week it can be at the end of the week um, our schedules are so hectic sometimes my rest day might be coming off of a Sunday it might be a Monday because I have appointments and stuff to do and I can't make it to the gym and then I pick up and I do day one on um, Tuesday instead but that's what that's the luxury of having um, the freestyle program it doesn't have to fit into a particular day um, for the metabolic resistance training or the freestyle I've been conditioned to doing four exercises but there are days that I'm busy and I'll only hit three or the gym is busy and I don't and or I'm here and I don't have all the equipment that, to do the stuff I will do triple sets. I'll do three exercises instead of a group of four. Super sets. If I want to bring up a part on my body, maybe it's my biceps. Uh, I, you, that's the nice thing about freestyle. You can hit your lower body. You can do the legs and you can do four, a group of four exercises. And if you have a part that's lagging that you actually want to bring up and define, you can then, your break would be, um, in the next set, like after you did your group of four for the three or four rounds, the next group might be a superset. And you would, uh, if it's your biceps, maybe your biceps are, are, are uh, lagging and you want to bring them up and develop them a little bit more. Then your focus would be, you wouldn't want to do a giant set because you wouldn't want to fatigue them You, if you wanted to have a little more weight. Um, if that was the area that you wanted to build more and you wanted to do higher repetitions and lower weight, then you could throw a superset in there. And then um, after your superset, then you could jump right back into another lower body grouping. Uh, but that's the cool thing. And I'm going to try and hit them uh, in the videos because I'm getting so many comments and questions. And so I figured once I give you a series of the metabolic resistance the home workouts for losing the weight targeting the lower body 
then I figured I could jump in if, if you guys are making comments about, well, how do I develop this part or whatever, I'll throw, I'll throw some metabolic resistance training videos in that incorporate that into it so that if you want to do that, and you'll have to let me know if you like that idea. Um, they, the, the books are still available. I found them on the web and I'm going to put links up and, and, uh, link you to them. They are a little pricey though, because I don't know how much they're publishing them anymore. Uh, Laura Dayton does have a new one that's on Amazon and I think it's called Wow. Women, um, women only workout, I think is what it's called. And I think they're like pull out cards that you can follow the exercises on. Uh, but the foundation block is the freestyle training book. Uh, the other guy that I like that talks about metabolic resistance is Rudy Maurer. And it's, um, I'll put a link up to that as well. I saw a video on him on YouTube. He's the only one that's talking about the way I'm talking about, the way women want to lose weight, he does a um, bikini challenge um, workout and uh, it's all, they're all downloadable and he explains it very similarly to the way that the freestyle training is. He's a younger guy, I think he's from England and um, he had uh, gotten his master's degree and has been studying it as well and it, and he pretty much explains it the same way that, that if you're gonna train like a guy you're gonna end up looking like a guy um, because men want to focus on the wider the bigger chest the wider back and by lifting alongside of them and doing the same exercises that they do you're gonna get the same effect you want to do more of compound movements um, like I do in the videos where you're um, doing a leg exercise and you have an upper body move in with it. Uh, the only ones that I really target hard are the ones that women want to see improved, which is usually their triceps. That's where women, as we get older, store that you know you see the bat wings on the women um, because we have no muscle definition back there. So it targets the biceps, the shoulders, and the triceps because that's the area that we want to have usually more defined. And if you are the type of person who builds there and don't have a problem, then freestyle would be just great for you because you could take the weights up higher or lower and the reps up higher and you could maintain what you have without getting any bigger. Um, that I think that that's why they coined it freestyle because it's so not conventional. It's, um, it can be geared towards anybody from from older people all the way down to younger people. Uh, there's always a flavor for somebody, some <clears throat> some way of doing it differently. Uh, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them below. And always, always, always don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please thumbs up it and uh, share it with friends. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.